Hattis Maximus here, back with another review of my short hair mackerel tabby cap. Yes, this is the same cap that has, or that my logo came from, that's wearing the little glasses. This is a very proper cat. Very good coloring, almost no white on her. She's pretty smart too. She's a female cat. I've generally found that female cats have more personality than male cats. I also like the more nat well, I shouldn't say natural, but the wild fur. It always seems that cats that have more wild color coloring also have more personality and seem to be a little smarter, but of course, that's just a perspective. Got a lot of hair. So, she knows how to get in the drawers. I'll eventually make a video of her doing her various antics. Um, of course, loves to run around and get the cat crazies. She's normally an indoor cat because I live near some busy streets, but um, she does like to go outside. She spent a bunch of time going up watching squirrels, so she'll climb up trees but knows how to shimmy back down like a squirrel so she doesn't get stuck. And I'll make a video of that as well. This is a rescue cat, and it was kind of a special one. They had her in the tool shed at the rescue center because she didn't get along with other cats in the cattery, and um, they had adopted her out, and she was returned as a vicious animal. And... Uh, Cats just need the proper kind of love and a bunch of kids on an animal that's been traumatized being going in and out of shelters um, can make them act out. You know, she is very good at scratching and biting, but she loves to play and she's a good lover. A few quick facts about cats for anybody who doesn't know much. They are a desert animal originally. And they can take quite a bit of heat. Surprisingly enough, on Wikipedia it says that a cat can deal with more than 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty surprising. They're very efficient with their water, and in the wild they can survive off the water they get from their prey. Of course, they have very good hearing. A lesser known fact is on a cat's ear. Come here, tiny. This little extra fold um, helps them determine right there if the sound is coming from behind them it adds an additional echo which is kind of surprising but they can know where the sound is coming from 360 degrees cats have obviously very good reflexes and one thing that's hard to kind of demonstrate and maybe I'll get a video at some point is that cats Pupils, they can dilate from fully open to totally closed in less than a second. It's actually pretty amazing. They have arbitrary control of their muscles over just about anywhere on their body. If a cat is just relaxing and you just tickle it a little bit, various muscles around its skin will kind of jerk and pull. And it's pretty surprising. It would be like you being able to pull any part of the skin just anywhere on your back or on your body. Just the skin itself. And cats are like a bag of skin. It allows them to slip through places. A cat can technically get through any space that it can get its head through. It can stretch its arms. It doesn't have collarbones, so the shoulders can rise and fall a large degree. Cats are also surprisingly tall animals. <laughs> they have very lengthy legs, as you can see if we pick her up. She has <coughs> Okay, sorry. Come on, get down there. Tiny. <laughs> she doesn't like me revering her. Another thing about cats is it isn't just that their whiskers around their eyes, whisk multiple sets of whiskers on the side of their face, or the main ones, but it's that their whole jaw and mouth have tons of little whisker hairs. And if you really look at the cat standing up, you'll notice the hair on the rest of its body is pretty even the same length you know it gets a little shorter as it gets near their feet but around the front 
of a cat, there's all these hairs that are a little bit longer. And those actually all act as whiskers, the entire front section of a cat. So that when it's digging around trying to hunt its prey, it can feel anywhere that it may be contacting near its mouth. And it's a big deal. And five toes on the front, four toes on the back for a standard cat. Some cats have varying numbers of toes. Apparently in the Northeast U.S. there's a bunch of six-toed cats. Another thing is people kind of wonder why cats have this extra... There's an, a little carpal pad, but there's they call it a dew claw. And it seems obvious when a cat's eating, the dew claw helps hold down their prey so they can get better access to it. It allows them to actually force things away from their face or push things away. And so that's a and allows them more dynamics because it can go sideways and allows them to grip better. And cats are obviously very good climbers. Since so she's figured out how to actually shimmy down backwards, feet first, um, it's pretty amazing. I've never seen any other cat do that. Um, and I believe it's because she's watched lots of squirrels. So anyway, if you're thinking of getting a cat, I would recommend a, a female mackerel tabby cat because i think they're some of the best but all cats are great anyway catus maximus out subscribe and this is just kind of a fun video